seriously though, enjoying a fresh, beautiful, chilled Maltese ice cream in the heat of the Maltese summer has to be a highlight of life. Whether it's glorious granitas, super soft serve ice cream, or even the classic slice, Malta has some serious chops when it comes to frozen dairy. Today's episode of Love and Eat is going to be a little bit different than usual. Instead of running around the island looking for the best ice cream, we're going to be showing you the range of ice cream that you can find on Malta. From the kiosks, to the vans, to the artisan gelato makers. Let's have a look at what Malta's got hiding in the freezer. So you know we had to come to Tony's in Baharicha. This place is iconic. This is why I used to come with my father when I was a child, and there's a good reason. Look at this drippy, overflowing, glorious ice cream thing. So we've got the whippy soft serve ice cream. It's chocolate and vanilla. And I also had to top it with the most popular topping. She just went for fruit and a flake, of course. I mean, is this not Malty's childhood in a cup? <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the f***ing banana. Summer vibes, huh? Summer vibes. Ma'am. The fruit really does work so well with the soft serve. I know where they put the fruit in. You don't feel so guilty afterwards. And what can I say? Eating an ice cream like this right by the beautiful sea, it's what you want to do in summer in Malta. Perfect. Tony's ice cream definitely has to be called the throwback ice cream. I mean, just look at it from the cup to the design to the flavor. Everything about it just screams Maltese childhood. We're here in Emsida. You know we have to come to Busy Bee. They just rolled out a canol flavored ice cream. Now, obviously anyone who knows Busy Bee knows that they're famous for their cannoli. So when we heard that they were making a canol ice cream, we had to try it out. What's crazy is that they make these canol cones. Check it out, like it's all bubbly and bursty and looks very crunchy and crispy. It's topped with all the nuts and a bit of fruit and whatnot. And it just looks really, really good. I'm gonna jump in because it's dripping. We got the drip going on today. Busy bee. Oh, yeah. Okay. It tastes like canol. It tastes like canol, but ice cream. Your nana's gonna love this. Your nana, your dad, and yourself's gonna love this. That's an experience. So I don't know who came up with this idea, especially for the cone, but this is the kind of ice cream that comes about when you've got something awesome like the canol and you want to modernize it and you want to take it up a bit, take it to the next level. So this is definitely the innovation ice cream. Nice. <laughs> Gelat Frisk. I don't know if I'm in an ice cream truck or I'm about to murder someone. So we're on the hunt to find Gretchen Talvan. Apparently he's in St. Thomas Bay. So we're heading there now. Let's hope we find Gretchen. Okay, so here. We found Gretzio, St. Thomas Bay, just where they said he was gonna be. Check it out, how could you miss that bright red and orange van? This is exactly, this is nostalgia in a van. Let's go check it out. So we found him, we found Gretzio Caruana. It's this van right here, super cute van, full of teddy bears and Donald Duck and all type of copyright infringement, it's amazing. So we're in with the line at St. Thomas Bay and we got the famous wafer slice. Look at this, we have to get them halat, of course. So it's got a mix of flavors. On top, we've got strawberry and karawet, some peanuts. And it's, it's really cute, it's really nostalgic. I've never had it before and I'm getting nostalgic. Yeah, wafer, it's just, it's just a slice of ice cream between two wafers. It's so simple, but it looks so awesome. I'm gonna just bite right into it. I love the wafers on the outside. So simple, but it makes such a difference. And the strawberry syrup on top is amazing. This is definitely the nostalgia ice cream. Every bite of this takes you back to when you were a kid. Beautiful. We're here in Sliema, outside Piazza Gelateria. This is a really cool place, family run multiple generations of a Maltese family running this stuff. They do gourmet ice cream and they have really, really cool flavors. They've been known to do stuff like Hobbs ice cream. Yes, that's Maltese bread ice cream. 
Yo, we got that drip going on. Do stuff like Pustits flavored ice cream, and they even have a vegan range. They've got lemon, strawberry, and over in front of us, we've got blueberry and prickly pear, Bitra flavored. So these are both vegan, um, made in house, homemade stuff. Let's jump into it. Obviously, prickly pear is a super multi's flavor. I've never tried prickly pear ice cream before, so this could be interesting. Okay, so let's start off with the blueberry. I love blueberry. It's one of my favorite berries. Um, I've never tried blueberry ice cream either, actually. God damn. Mm. This is awesome. I would definitely order this again. The prickly pear, the bitra. Super Maltese, super Maltese flavor. This tastes like when you think of going to a farm, that kind of nostalgic idea you have of a farm. That's what this tastes like. Mm. This reminds me of my uncles and stuff. Wow. Hands down, these ice creams have to be the gourmet Maltese ice creams because they are 100% authentic Maltese flavors but elevated to a very high standard. Well done. So we're here in Emdina, the silent city, outside a very special place, Fiore de Latte. These guys are artisanal gelateria makers, you know, um, Maltese family, Maltese run. I think they even live here above the store. They've got a lab below it. It's all very familial, all very local. It's really interesting. They have a great line of about 16 to 20 ice creams here. Um, I had to go for the sorbet because I've been eating a lot of ice cream today and the sorbets were just jumping out to me. We've got mango, look at the color on that. And we've got some classic lemon because I mean, what is an ice cream show without lemon sorbet? Okay, I'm gonna start off with the mango though. We've got that drip. Mm. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, that is so smooth for a sorbet. Holy cow. Wow. Yo, this sorbets are super smooth. The lemon, the lemon is super citrusy. Oh my God, that's really bright. A little bit of sourness as well, jumping out at you. Oh my God, it's super refreshing. But obviously, there's no other term for this ice cream than the smooth operator ice cream. I mean, when you can get a sorbet that smooth, you know you're good. So we're here in Bujibba, outside Soto Zero. Soto Zero is definitely one of the more popular names in Malta when it comes to ice cream. I mean, other ice cream makers can be found here in the evening eating their ice cream. So that kind of says it all. So, of course, we have to get the Helwata Tork ice cream. Typical Maltese flavor. As you can see, we've got little almonds popping out of this. This is like a proper ice cream. And this is just one scoop. Yo, we got that drip going on. Anyone that loves Helwata Tork is gonna love this. I've tried a few variations of Helwata Tork around Malta ice cream. This one's got little bits in it, man. So when you're biting in, you've got these little crunchy bits. It's really, really nice. So everything from Sotto Zero's location, to the texture, to the flavors, to the size of the scoop, has to make this the sweet spot ice cream. Yo, seriously though, after eating six ice creams today, I'm gonna need six gems. We've looked inside the freezers of Malta and we were very happy with what we found. From the artisan work being done in places like Mdina and Slema and Bujibba, to the childhood nostalgic throwback that are the vans that you find in bays all around the island. Malta clearly takes its ice cream very, very seriously. Personally, I gotta say I love the mango sorbet from Fiore de Latte in Indina. It was super smooth, super creamy, without having milk in it, so mad respect to that. But honestly, seeing Tony's put that soft serve ice cream into the cup with the fruit is just a beautiful moment. And going down to the south of Fine Gretchen as well, I mean, how can we complain? That's enough for this episode of Love and Eat. Let us know which ice cream you thought looked the best. Let us know what, fo what food Three, two, one. Let us know what ice cream you thought looked the best. Let us know what food you love to see in the next episode. And until then, it's been Jonathan Chile for Love and Eats, and we out.